Today we're here to talk about boosters. These are the Hemp Babies Doublers and this is the Cloth Diaper Podcast where we on Mondays do podcasting but for the rest of the week we talk about cloth diapering. My name is Bailey and today we are looking at the Hemp Babies Doublers. These are two tiny little products and um, I don't really know what to say about them. There is a color discrepancy and when I went to go ask about it apparently that is normal. So you can see my large is quite white and my other one is not. That immediately happened with the first wash. I tried to post in the Cotton Babies mob group to see if anybody else had had that experience and someone just messaged me back. They didn't approve my post. I don't know why. These are called doublers. What is a doubler? A doubler is essentially a booster. It's the same thing I would say. It's something that you add to another diaper for absorbency. In my perspective, a booster is anything less than five ounces. Um, you need five plus ounces usually to last two hours with a small child. I know there are some people out there who have extremely light wetters who don't pee anything and they can use just a booster, but that is the exception, not the rule. So today we are talking about these hemp babies. If you haven't already watched my video about their inserts, it is part of the Cotton Babies family. They produce a hemp product. This is kind of a fleece. 55% hemp, 45% certified organic cotton, as um, I didn't know they existed until recently. So I purchased these from the Calgary Cloth Diaper Depot. You can purchase them yourself. They're just kidding, they're sold out. <laughs> or maybe by the time you watch this video, they'll be restocked. You, I also have a Cotton Babies affiliate link there and I earn a small commission from any of those purchases in those affiliate links. And that helps me purchase products like this Hemp Baby Stash for future reviews, comparisons, and absorbency testing. If you like seeing cloth diaper information, topics, conversations in your YouTube feed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you wanna continue seeing me do more absorbency testings in the weeks to come. And comment below about what products you're interested in. I have a little bit of spending money every month and sometimes I need inspiration about what to buy next. All right. So the thing about absorbency testing is that I always do a full saturation number. I do test everything at least three times and we'll always do a pour over test so that you can see how the product performs in maybe a somewhat pseudo real life experience. It's never going to be perfect and I'm never going to appease everybody. I just aim for consistency time after time after time. Eventually I will get a full list on the Cloth Diaper Podcast website that you can see and compare each product's absorbency and maybe cost per ounce. I just haven't gone there because I have taken on way too many hats. This little doubler probably has a fancy name and I can't remember it. It held 3.6, 3.2, and 3.3 ounces. So about... 3.4 ounces, which is not a lot, really does make it a doubler. This is something that you could add to a newborn diaper. This is something you could add to a smaller child. Or if you maybe have a leaky bum genius elemental, sometimes just adding a little bit like this will make a huge difference. This might also great, pair well with any of your microfiber products. Because the thing that's really great about hemp is not that it's super absorbent because 3.2 ounces is nothing. Once it sucks on and draws onto moisture, it holds it and it doesn't compress. So if you pair this with microfiber, when microfiber gets squished and water pushes out of it, the hemp will draw it in and reduce your chances of leaking. Results are not guaranteed. Just kind of been, I've been playing around here in the, in the office a little bit and that's been my experience. It's what a lot of people recommend in real life and it does kind of play out as well. So we'll do the pour over test and then we'll talk about money. So I've been weighing out my water instead of relying on this, um, but I still use it as my little pour. We're gonna pour over three and four ounces. See how it performs. It does flood. The nice thing though is that you notice it didn't get so overwhelmed that it leaked. And we typically see that with the cotton. And you can see the liquid is moving through and over dense and it will move and see like it takes a lot of work to squeeze it out there you go you can get it to squeeze out and i find the more that i typically squeeze out like this 
the uh, harder it gets over time, if that makes sense. So this is kind of expensive if maybe we compare it to the AMP insert. The AMP is about $3.95 um, for the three layer hemp. This is two layers of hemp and it is much wider, whereas the AMP is quite narrow. So it does have the width to it. Like this isn't really going to fit into a five inch diaper very nicely. It's definitely more of a six inch kind of diaper. It would fit into a flip or any of the Bum Genius family products well. But at $4.95, that works out to $1.47 an ounce. And at $5.99 Canadian, it's $1.76 an ounce which is quite expensive. I know with the inserts and the insert video, I talked about how um, those were really on par with North American made textiles, and this is significantly more expensive. Honest, really crappy facts, because I do really like the Bum Genius Cotton Babies family. I also haven't done a lot of absorbency testing with like the Gap and Baby stuff, and I haven't really crunched those numbers, so I don't know how it compares, but if you compare it to AMP, eh. It is organic cotton, whereas AMP is not. You also can't buy AMP in the States. But only two layers, so it dries really fast. So there is also the large doubler. And the weird thing is, is that the large doubler is significantly larger than the small doubler. Yes. One and a half times, probably. Uh, and it's exactly the same price. So if I were you, I would just buy this one and fold it. It's not very bulky and you could just fold it however you wanted to get it into there. The absorbency on this bad boy is 5.3, 5 and 4.8 ounces for an average of five ounces. So I got five ounces of liquid here and we are gonna pour it over, starting in the middle. It's always interesting to see why and how some liquids kind of peer out. And that small one, it really did because that's how much space it could travel. But this one seems to say, hey, hey, hold on. I couldn't travel as fast as you were pouring. I just can't do it. We get that reaction also with cotton, less so with bamboo, but it does happen. We are seeing it sucking it up and the liquid is nicely moving through. I have to give credit to hemp because it really does move the liquid throughout the fiber a lot better than I'd say a lot of other inserts do. It does have a little bit of compression as always, but it is so good at sucking it up. See, there it goes. I could probably just do that all day, guys. Again, at $4.95 US, that works out to $0.98 cents an ounce, or $5.99 Canadian, $1.20, which makes it comparable to the bigger Hemp Babies inserts. Um, at $0.98 cents or $1.20, much more inclined to purchase it. So I think the large one is definitely your better value than your small one, but maybe, maybe you don't want to do that. This is probably less bulky if you only need three ounces, right? All right, so that was everything that I know about the Hemp Babies Boosters. I hope this video was helpful. Leave me a comment with something else that you want me to purchase or experiment with or try. It does take me a while to do these test results, um, but I'll get back to you eventually. I promise, kind of, maybe, hopefully. Bye.